Does Chrome OS support video capture devices? In short, yes, but there are limitations. Let's get into it and show you how to set this up. So like I mentioned before, I'm gonna show you how to set up a video capture device on Chrome OS. This is possible because of the UVC standard that Chrome OS supports. UVC stands for USB Video Class, and Wikipedia defines it as a device class that describes devices capable of streaming videos like webcams, digital camcorders, transcoders, analog video converters, and still image cameras. So if device is UVC compliant and you can connect it to an OS that supports UVC, that device will be automatically detected by the OS and will be exposed to applications like video conferencing apps, webcam apps, and camera apps. I'm going to be testing the Elgato CamLink. I was able to get the CamLink working on my Android phone to set it up as a portable capture solution. Check out my video on how I did that. After successfully getting the CamLink to work on Android, I then thought, why not try it out on my Chromebook? It only made sense. One of my use cases is to capture my Chromebook screen. There are screen capture solutions for Chrome OS, but they are not free, or the quality is not as good, or the format causes issues for my video editing apps. So to get this working is pretty easy. I'll bring up the Chrome display settings. This is not required, but I wanna show you how the device is detected. Setting the frame rate and recording resolution will be done through these settings also. Now I'll plug in the cam link to my Chromebook and then take the video out of my Chromebook and plug it into the cam link. I have to do it in this order. If I will plug in the cam link with an HDMI cable already connected, the signal will not be detected or show a 720p resolution that I will not be able to change unless I reconnect. And here in the display settings, you can see that the cam link is detected because a display icon saying mirrored appeared. So now it's mirroring my Chromebook screen to the cam link. But I can uncheck mirroring so the cam link can be seen as a second monitor. You can now see this monitor icon identifying the cam link. I'll leave it mirrored so I know what I'm recording. Setting the frame rate and resolution is determined by the HDMI device that's connected to the cam link. Since I'm mirroring the screen, the cam link will record at my Chromebook's native resolution and refresh rate, which is 1080p at 60 Hz. If I uncheck mirroring and then click on the cam link screen, I'll be able to select what resolution and refresh rate I want to record at. Unfortunately, 4K recording looks to not be supported on my Chromebook, so I'll stick to 1080p and lower. If I do change the resolution to 4K, the recording application we are going to use will not see the signal. But if I change the resolution to 720p and the refresh rate to 30 hertz, the recordings will be at 720p and 30 frames per second. And if I change the resolution to 1080p and the refresh rate to 60 hertz, the recordings will be at 1080p at 60 frames per second. I have another UVC dongle that lets me change the resolution in the recording app itself, but the quality of that dongle is nowhere near as good as the cam link. So keep in mind that depending on the UVC device you use, quality and features will vary. I'll check mirroring on again. We will be using the Chrome OS camera app for capturing video. So open it up. You will see the switch camera button on the bottom left of the camera app. If I had set the resolution to 4K, this button would not appear here. Press the switch camera button. You will now see what the dongle is capturing. Ignore the repeating pattern because we are capturing what the Chromebook is displaying to itself. Change the camera app to video and then hit the record button and now you're capturing video. Now just perform whatever action you want to record. But make sure the camera app is not minimized or else the recording will stop. Leave the camera app open but bring any applications you want to record in front of it. You're not limited to only capturing your screen. You can use any HDMI device to record. So you can connect a game console, Raspberry Pi, or other PCs and more. Keep in mind that if you are recording something that requires fast reflexes like a game console, you will feel a delay between what you see and the buttons you press. In this case, you would want to use an HDMI splitter so you can have another output to an HDMI television to avoid any delay. Now, the stock Chrome OS camera app is really basic and doesn't offer many options. Depending on the device connected, I can only change the resolution, 
there aren't any video quality or frame rate settings. I tried using Android camera apps, but they were very unstable and would crash or were unsupported in Chrome OS. I also tried OBS Studio in Linux, but it would not detect the UVC devices. Chrome OS's Linux support does not support UVC, so I knew it would not work, but I still wanted to try it. The quality of the recordings I got out of the cam link were really good. Small text was sharp, so that's very helpful for my tutorial videos. Also, capturing videos looked as good as the original source. However, the frame rates of the captures were weird. Recordings that were supposed to be 60 frames per second varied between 50 and 58 frames per second. And when recording at 30 frames per second, the videos were actually at 29.4 frames per second, but some were actually 30 frames per second. If I had done more recordings, I'm pretty sure there would be more variation. I also experienced some stability issues when switching resolutions and frame rates. The camera app would sometimes lose the signal from the cam link and I would have to reconnect it. None of these issues were experienced when I used the cam link on my Windows PC and also on my Android phone. Hopefully the capturing can improve in Chrome OS or at least have Linux detect UVC devices. So with a UVC device, you are able to accomplish video capture on your Chromebook. If you are interested in capturing video like this, I really recommend the Elgato Cam Link. At $130, it's expensive, but the quality makes it worth the price. Unfortunately, the options for the quality of the capture are limited, and you will also encounter some stability issues when switching resolutions and frame rates. The frame rates are also weird, and depending on the device you use, the quality of the capture will vary. If you tried other UVC devices, let me know of your experience in the comments. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.